Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon, good morning for, for us here in Belize, and greetings from the people and government of Belize. Um, on behalf of the Minister of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, Honorable Andrew Perez, I would like to share the following remarks. The government of Belize would like to extend its compliments to the organizers and sponsors of this event and expresses appreciation for the commitment and participation of all present today. This will undoubtedly enrich your understanding of the experience of Belize and others in addressing key challenges in fisheries. Belize is a highly dependent um, <clears throat> nature-based economy, making its maritime space, natural resources, and associated ecosystems key elements um, <clears throat> for ensuring food security, employment, social development and economic growth of the country. The nation's 200 miles reef system and fisheries resources are at the center of our blue economy and it has been estimated that Belize's reef and its associated ecosystems contribute approximately 1, million, 1 billion Belize dollars annually to our national economy through fisheries, tourism and shoreline protection. Together, some 4.2% of our national population are direct beneficiaries of shallow water fishery resources of Belize, which is ranked fourth as a primary income earner. Inherently, the socioeconomic value of fisheries, coupled with access to health and affordable seafood, is consequential, and the potential to sustainably expand and provide new social, economic, and environmental benefits are key objectives of the government of Belize. Belize has also recently embarked on an initiative to explore its deep water fishery resources within our oceans as an avenue for further development of the sector. This is uncharted territory for, for us and will require guidance for its development. We're hopeful, however, that the Blue, Blue Justice Initiative can create the opportunities and tools for exchange of experiences and technologies among our participating countries. Belize has become a leader in the sustainable use of fishery resources through robust science and conservation efforts. Recently, we completed the FinFish Management Plan through an adaptive and integrative, integrated multi-species management approach that simplifies monitoring and decision-making by grouping managed species into baskets, an innovative process for greater efficiency. To complement this effort, Belize has declared a total of 20% of its oceans under protected status. Of this, there was an increase of 11.63% declared in 2022 as high biodiversity protection marine reserves or no take zones under the recent blue bond agreements. It is expected by 2025, Belize would achieve up to 30% of its waters under protected status. Belize has also developed comprehensive legislation for improved management of its fishery resources as well as addressing issues to curb IUU fishing. Under the Blue Bond Conservation Fund Agreement, Belize is committed to the implementation of a governance framework for domestic and high seas fisheries consistent with transparent, science-based, socially responsible international best practices. The framework calls for ensuring compliance with all national, regional, and global obligations related to fishing activities including enhanced monitoring to address illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activities. The initial funding stream for these activities through the Blue Bonds uh, Agreement will initiate April of this year. Within the legal framework, a key element in our new Fishery Resources Act of 2020 that is vital in addressing a shared approach to IUU fishing is that is, it establishes higher fines and penalties for which serves at, as deterrence in addressing illegal fishing one, but more importantly, it also makes provisions similar to the U.S. Lacey Act, which has fines and penalties for fisheries related offenses committed contrary to the laws of another state. Belize continues to embrace technology as a tool for effective fisheries, as a tool, sorry, for effective fisheries management. A great deal was learned through the COVID-19 pandemic, of course, it taught us that technology has tremendous potential for increasing efficiency in the work we do. Belize has recently re received more than 60 VMS devices for the monitoring for our small scale fishing fleet. A great addition, of course, to our management efforts, but it is long term implementation also comes with challenges, 
not only for Belize, but for the region. The impediment to be more effective in the implementation of these tools is the high cost of airtime and monitoring platforms needed for VS VMS systems to be more cost effective. This is a task that we can jointly seek to address and make accessible to our small developing countries like Belize. We also continue to utilize the, the spatial monitoring and reporting tool, SMART, to improve enforcement efforts in national waters, but again, there are technological gaps that need to be filled. In closing, Belize recognizes the need to, for enhanced cooperation among states, regional and international organizations, and calls on countries to take bold actions to combat IOU fishing and international organized crimes in the fishing industry. Belize emphasizes the serious threat that IOU fishing and related transnational organized crime has on our marine ecosystems and its implications to management and conservation on, of our ocean resources and to the great impacts it has on the livelihoods of vulnerable fishing communities. Thus, Belize remains committed in supporting the Copenhagen Declaration on Transnational Organized Crime in Global Fishing Industry and strongly embrace the Blue Justice Initiative and continue to look forward to, for fruitful and impactful actions. Belize affirms its commitment to continue to collaborate with partners to further address transnational organized crime in the global fishing industry through the implementation of regional and international instruments. With that, thank you.